all right guys if I need to do solar ignition and I don't have any charred material this is how I prefer to do it now, I've got some punk wood here that I've just been crushing down trying to get it as dusty as I can get it down to kind of a powder if possible so we're just working that down nice and fine getting it relatively dusty okay now I've got a little scrap piece of leather here that I keep in with my lens I got a little leather case that I keep that in now I'm just going to take some of this stuff go make a little pile right here in the middle of that piece of leather come in with my lens I've got the, the Sun over my shoulder I'm gonna come in bring that focal point down and get this smoldering I'm going to give it plenty of time I'm going to leave it there let it really take this punk wood smolders are really good that's what we're looking for Okay, got good smoke that's good now in essence what we've done here is we've created a mini a miniature fire so we need to give that miniature fire fuel so I'm coming in on top of that smoldering punk wood and I'm putting the finest dust I've got right on top of that and all of that's going to start fusing coalescing into a nice big ember so remember this is like a miniature fire you got to give that fire fuel it needs air and it needs fuel so as that kind of burns down I just sprinkle a little bit more on there now I'm going to set that to the side for now now I'm going to go ahead and start prepping my birds nest here I'm just using jute if you're using dried grass or bark or whatever, it's going to be the same thing. Just going to get that prepped up. Get it down into a bird's nest shape here. Kind of like pinching pottery. There we go. Now you can see when I set that aside how that continued to just grow. Take your time with this, there's no rush. get just a little bit more dust up on top of that and I'm also going to sprinkle a little bit of dust down into my bird's nest here just to make sure that that's going to be setting down in something that's got good insulation to it all right that's a good usable ember we're just going to slide that guy right down into our bird's nest blow it into flame There we go. So if you have charred material, solar ignition is even easier. I've got this piece of char cloth here, and I'll only have to hit that for just a second, and it'll be gone. That's already gone in two different places. So charred material with solar is really, really easy. All right, so if I were to have get my fire going using this punk wood, I'd then collect more of that punk wood and I'd char that. You know, you can have charred cloth or you can have charred punk wood, either one. They both work fantastic. And then from there, your solar lighting is much easier because that charred material will just take right off with the lens. But if you're working with just a tinder bundle, this one's nice and tightly packed. I'm going to hit this with the lens here real quick. What you're going to see more than anything is a whole lot of smoldering and not much else.
nine times out of ten that's what's going to happen it's just going to flash burn itself out all right the big thing on this punk wood is to take your time once you get it going there's no rush you, you've formed an ember and the more time you give that ember the better it's going to be so this kind of small to medium sized stuff here is what I'll get going first and then this really fine dusty stuff is what I like to sprinkle on top to keep it fueled but you've got a lot of working time once you get that that punk wood going don't feel that you gotta rush 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 the more time you give that thing and you continue to feed it the better stronger and more viable ember you're gonna have so don't rush take your time with it but this stuff is fantastic for solar ignition all right, everybody, I think a big misconception that people have with solar is they're expecting that instant gratification. They're expecting to hit whatever they're trying to light with that lens and just see it burst into flames. That's not really reality. The best way to go about it is to build an ember, okay? That's the great thing about that punk wood is you can build an ember that then will get your other material going. You can always have these with you that's one thing about it it's not a go-to fire source because you're dependent on the sun that's the downside to it but the upside is is as a secondary source of ignition it's actually really really nice and really really effective I don't want people to kind of lose interest in it because they can't get something going they're just having stuff kind of flash burn and smolder out It's because you need a good viable ember so that punk wood technique probably my favorite you need to always be thinking about your next fire okay and one of the easiest ways to do that is with charred material charred punk wood charred cloth charred grasses you name it if it'll char and take a, a viable spark then you've got easier fires in your future so always be thinking about your next fire and uh, that's probably the, the easiest way I've found to get that first fire going it's easy to find that punk wood it's all around if you just look for it in the woods so you don't have to have the little leather patch I had. You can put that on a piece of bark. I've also done it by putting it straight into my bird's nest, lighting it there, letting that coalesce into an ember, feeding it, and then blowing it into flame. I, liked it. I, I did it separate there just to kind of show you the process a little clearer, but it's just as easy to put that punk wood in your actual bird's nest and get it going that way. So it's a really easy way to get things going give it a try and remember don't expect instant flame and instant gratification from a solar lens if you're expecting that you're going to get annoyed with it and you're going to move on but you shouldn't because it's a great thing to have in your pack thank you all for checking out this video peace